again, very hard to predict anything at this juncture, but uh, what we've um, heard from the Democratic uh, platform so far is that they will emphasize fiscal stimulus, uh, although we know also that their platform does include uh, raising the corporate tax uh, rate at some point. But in terms of ordering those two things, stimulus first before the fiscal tightening in the form of a tax cut later on. Uh, and our economists currently are already forecasting well above consensus global GDP growth, 6.6% for Goldman Sachs for global GDP growth versus the consensus at 53 uh, And this actually does not incorporate additional fiscal stimulus that could very well be in the pipeline under a scenario of a blue wave. So if there is additional stimulus forthcoming in the United States, uh, we believe that from a Japan perspective, that could bode quite positively, particularly for those Japanese companies with high revenue exposure to that mm. market. Uh, it's interesting, you've already begun to see some of those sectors that are typically more cyclical in nature, balanced, mm. uh, frankly, in the last, not just few weeks, the last few months, be it cars, machinery, um, even based materials, those sectors have begun to do much better. And we think that that trend could very well continue in the event that a blue wave outcome uh, occurs. Would it mean a catch up uh, in the different, uh, in the performance of, of the Nikkei 225 versus the S&P 500? Because I did some analysis where from uh, the mid-March lows of this year, pandemic lows, uh, the Nikkei has gained about 40, 42%, whereas the S&P 500 uh, is knocking at 60% gains. And so I wonder uh, with the election outcome, would that change? We think there is a chance of a so-called catch-up, as you're implying, because Japan's indices, let's just say topics, the broadest index that Japan has, 70% of the constituents of topics are actually cyclical stocks. And so that is higher than the equivalent ratios both in the S&P 500 and Europe stock 600 indices, uh, respectively. So we believe that in the event that people get uh, excited about additional stimulus in the United States, post the November 3rd election results, that that could bode well for Japan's cyclical uh, stocks in particular. And because most foreigners, A, are very underweight Japan to begin with, and B, particularly underweight cyclical sectors, I think that could lead to some closure of that gap between Japan and the rest of the world's stock market performance.